Hello friends, welcome to Foxu Tech. So as we are seeing about Kubernetes important topics are what we are seeing is more, more focused towards the examination or to the real-time purposes. And mostly this is all the topics, whatever we are covering, it's for the best recommendation for the productions. So today what we're gonna see like one of the another important topic or the future available on the Kubernetes. So which is nothing but health check using props for the containers, whichever running on the Kubernetes, right? So if you are from worked on the Docker initially and the recently they may even Docker is introduced some health checks for the containers, whichever you are starting. So it will validate certain points. If the points are not match, so immediately your container will get stopped. So that is like a very basics and that's only made for the single container, whichever is running on the environment, right? So that may we may not use for most of the cases, but they, are, they may not be useful for large so purposes. But when it's coming for the Kubernetes, this has a wide versatile wax for use cases and there is a multiple place we have to understand what is the props and how it's helpful for us and where to use which props there is a multiple props in the Kubernetes and we should understand what is that so this article will try to explain about that what is the props and how we can use it on the pods right so before that what we have to understand what about the L checks right so why we need to can I check the container health. So one of the important key reason for we are using Kubernetes for the automatically it's restart the containers or pods, right? So we no need to manage everything, anything manually until there is very critical. Mostly this will be handled by the Kubernetes. That is helps us to provide a most high numbers of high availability and that stands out the Kubernetes out of any other competitors. Right. Okay. So let's speak about the container health. So one thing we have to, we have to do is like it automatically should restart whatever the containers are out of unhealthy. Right. If the container is stopped for any of the reason, it should be tried to automatically restarted and uh, should be tried to bring it to the normal state or production ready state. Right. And also another thing is like how it can be achieved. So the Kubernetes, uh, Kubelet is doing an active monitoring and it's check what is happening on your cluster and it will try to get the responses and based on the response, it's decide what to do next, right? So for that, always you should give the proper results. It doesn't matter like we can say, hey, my application will serve ABC, but if you set something like a XYZ or Kubernetes thinks something else, so that may be a problem for us. Even ABC is still not serving, our users will be affected, right? So those kind of cases, we should be so careful and uh, we should be identify why it is the exact thing it should be monitored and we should define on particular pages, right? So for that, there is a multiple props available on Kubernetes. So on third, first one is called liveness prop. So liveness prop is nothing but it's allow us to automatically determine the container application cell state. So this is the most useful or most critical prop, whatever we have the rest all to, rest all remaining to, right? So why it matters, right? So given the liveness prop, it makes sure the one, it makes sure the pod or the container is healthy with a proper checkup. So how it checks, Right. So by default, if you use a Kubernetes, it will just check is it a container or the application is running or not. If the process is stopped, it says like, hey, man, the container is down. But it's not an exact case, right? Sometime maybe our container is, doesn't get stopped or the process doesn't get stopped, even though our users may face some kind of a issues or some errors. So why it happens, maybe the application may get deadlock or there is some DB connection issue, or there will be a multiple reasons. So on that time, how we can identify this Leonis prompt help us to fix that issues by doing a very robust check, like whatever we decide, 
define like hey this application should show this status or this content like that so when we say like this status that will be check the response code if it's between two to 200 to 399 so which is healthy state by default any http applications and then it confirms hey the rest of application is up and running right so those kind of uh, flexible things you can do it with a Linux probe and you can define your own checks right so that is one of the key advantage in the Linux probes and uh, so how it's look like so this is look like uh, two things by default any other props it may have only one but when it's coming Linux prop there is a two options available one is EA execute and another one is HTTP get so in the execute command so we have like an option to give the command some sample command we can serve so in this case echo hello world and it checks is it response is coming or not right and when it's coming HTTP it's check the response code for the path and the port which port it's listens make sure your application port is given properly and what is the exact endpoint you are checking in this case we are checking the root endpoint and it checks on the port 80 so if you are using a different port 8080 or 8443 or any number please make sure you are giving a correct port number and there is a two extra variables we have defined one is the initial delay second and create seconds so initial delay second is nothing but sometimes the application may take little longer to start right so in that immediately we should not start this laziness block to monitor so to the to make sure it's not affecting like it's not giving any false code so to avoid that we are saying my application takes little longer so this is the you check this status after five seconds right so it will wait for a five second then it's initiate this checks and how frequently i should run right so i should ask kubelet to check every five minutes you check this Linux, right so this is most important because so how long we are checking and how often we are checking we can say like our application will be stable and it serves perfect so plan your num periodic seconds and initial delay seconds based on your applications and you can decide whatever the number it needs right so next is a startup prop so another important prop here now Linux may be running after the application is started and it gives us a status but when it's coming for the startup props it's a very first stage whenever you are starting any uh, containers of the application it start immediately start checking that and it's give you the it's give you the response is it the publication is started properly or not in case if it's start started properly it will be stopped running up uh, application so why it's important right so let's say like you are running a some critical application and there is a multiple parts are running unexpectedly one of your pod is down and another part taking a little longer to start so if you are not set any startup props or something so immediately the container will be added to the cluster so in that time immediately your kubernetes will be round robin method that may start at serving the traffic to the particular node so if in case in case if your application is not at ready or it may it's in the failure state or it's taking you longer to start due to any reasons so your user may get some random errors or your backend application or any relate any connected application will affect it right so to avoid such a cases so we should have a proper startup props so this will help us to avoid any kind of a third party connection to be established until the application is proper and started right so and also it suits another case i can say like a some uh, legacy application may take long times right if you are worked on the legacy applications uh, rather coming in the recent times so the application takes very longer time by default so those kind of application if you are migrated to the kubernetes and that may expect a little longer to respond so on the time you can use this props this may help us to have a best results and 
you can combine the startup props and after that you can give the liveness props or readiness props or anything but this will be a process you can follow it right and also it is this is a first prop runs and until it's completes the other two props will be disabled why because until the has with the name we can say until it gets start any part so there is no use case for the liveness or readiness parts right so that is advantage in the startup props so how we can define this so this is how so nothing much it will be the same whatever we defined earlier only thing we have to change the prop name right and here there is another parameter we change like a failure threshold like how long it takes to <clears throat> how many failed results we are receiving the transition from the healthy state healthy to failure state so this threshold may be set to the numbers so based on that you can your application will respond sometimes there will be a little longer time period so this numbers may be little higher but you have to know about it and plan this calculate this number properly and set this startup props right so next is the readiness props so readiness props determines your application is ready to request the service accept the request or right so if you have multiple let's say like you have some interconnected application and it has a multiple backends right so you want to have a proper monitoring until the backend starts your application should not be started so why it matters maybe you have a of data or something it's need to be served from the backend maybe that is still not at ready and again your application or your user started connected to your application this obviously gets failed right so we can avoid such a cases with this readiness props so that will be always help us to serve again the only best results right and uh, so that is a major case here and also there is another use case like uh, another key thing you should understand about the readiness prop so with the liveness prop right so if liveness prop what it does it will be just keep check the application and in case if the pod is not responded or something so immediately it terminates the pod but when it's coming readiness parts, it directs a condition of maybe temporarily available only. Okay, it cannot able to terminate or something, but rather it's need to be done by the liveness props. So in that case, we should be implement some proper proper addition uh, conditions, and that will be help to have but the application is ready to serve. Right. So so this is how we have to define again there is nothing much in the pattern so only we are changing the prop and this is the conditions we are applying right and what are the options we can enable it here so one is http and we seen the earlier so http will be check the status of code 2202 399 which is healthy and if it's serving a 5500 or 5xx means there will be a, some internal server error or 4x means there is some critical errors and you should take a look on that so on that time your application will be say unhealthy state also if some cases we may have tcp ports tcp protocols so we can specify the exact tcp port except 8443880 http ports so we can use the tcp and we can change the status so especially this is for the FTP services or GR, GRPC services, it suits. And whenever you are running a commands, so commands are nothing but like a Linux commands. And uh, so this will expect the exit code of zero. So if the application is not serving exit code of zero, so immediately it will be failing. So what is other possible numbers? exit code one for the failure and there will be 127 if some file is missing there will be a different different numbers so we can choose either one and so it will based on that it may fail so these are the option you can enable to check your application is stable or not so with that you can say your applic health 
uh, status. Okay. So let's check some quick demo like uh, how we can check the props. So we have prepared some <clears throat> manifest to check each status. So let's say like uh, leave us. Let's start from Linux and let's check some random commands. So in this, we are using a busy box image and we are running some random commands. And along with that, we are saying echo hello world. If it's responding hello world for every five seconds, that means our pod is healthy, right? So QCTL apply. So keeps it here, get parts and let's check the part is running. Right. And uh, let's check same for the HTTP. And we are using your HTTP Nginx image. So to check exact code. So this is using AT port as we are not using any kind of SSL certificate or something. It's like an Nginx image. And this is a status, right? So as like the previous one. So we can apply this Nginx. HTTP. So pod is created. So you can see the both the pods are running now. Right. So this is this and the startup. Parts and let's say so you can see the startup part still it's not in a ready state why because the container is still getting up right so it it stayed little longer so we can keep check that and until it's coming up we can see it's up and running right so how it's defined in the startup one so there's nothing so only we have deferred with a failure threshold so rest all we seen like the same and we have defined the startup and failure threshold for startup. And the next is readiness prop. So again, we are just naming the prop you are doing and we should use here different. Failure threshold is five, right? So let's apply this. The spot is created. Let's check the pod status and it's ready. Right. Some case this there will be a delay as we are using a very light images. It came quick, but some cases it may come little longer. So this even you can see three seconds. It's not up. It took almost five seconds, more than five seconds. So like that, there will be a different use case for your application. Please choose wisely and prepare your props and you can combine it all three together or combine liveness and readiness together so based on your need you can combine it more than one props right so find the best use case and use this thank you